Former NBA basketball player Dennis Rodman is back in North Korea again. It's unbelievable what's happening with Dennis Rodman. I, 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 I just can't even. I'm, I'm fascinated by what's going on. He initially went to North Korea on one visit, and it turned out he was kind of buddy buddy with Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un loves basketball. Dennis Rodman gave a couple of strange interviews when he came back, and then he went again. And then now he is back for at least the third time, maybe even more than that. He did an interview with CNN's Chris Cuomo on the show New Day. And Chris Cuomo understandably asks him, you know what's going on with this U.S. citizen, Kenneth Bay? You say you love Kim Jong Un and he's your buddy and he's a great guy. Have you asked him about Kenneth Bay, who's been detained by North Korea with no charges for more than a year? I can't understand Dennis Rodman's answer. I'm going to play it for you here. Then we'll analyze it. It's amazing that this is what's going on. Dennis Rodman is the foremost expert in a sense on modern North Korea in the sense that he's been there multiple times. He hangs out with the reclusive Kim Jong Un. This is his answer. He gets very agitated. I can't make heads or tails out of it. I would love to speak on this. Go ahead. You know, you got you got you got you got 10 guys here, 10 guys here. They have left their families, left their damn families to help this country as is a sports venture. Got 10 guys, all these guys here. Do anyone understand that? We do, and we appreciate Christmas. that, and we wish them yeah, well with so cultural right. exchange. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, no, I don't give a what the, I'm gonna rass ass what the hell you think. I'm saying to you, look at these guys here. Listen. Look at them. Yeah, but Dennis, don't Listen. put it on them. They, they don't do use them as an excuse they for the behavior on. that you're they that you're away. putting on yourself. Here. They came here. You, ju you just basically were saying that Kenneth but, Bay did something listen, wrong. You, we don't you, even you know can, what the charges are. But, don't listen, use these guys listen, as a shield for you, you Dennis. Can, you, listen, 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 oh, listen. Ain't no shield. Dennis, Dennis, I got it, I got it. Let me, let me do this. Really, really. I'm gonna tell you one thing. People around the world, around the world. I'm gonna do one thing. You guy behind the mic right now, we are the guys here doing one thing. We have to go back to America and take the abuse. Do you have to take the abuse? Well, we're going to take it. Do you, sir? Let me know. Are you going to take the abuse? We're going to get it. But guess what I do? One day, one day, this door is going to open. There it is, Lewis. What what do you make of this? Well, I, I think it's just uh, OK. But from the other footage I've seen uh, of interviews with Dennis Rodman, it's just completely pointless to ask him about anything other than basketball. The, ma the man's brain just seems completely fried. I mean, I I just you never get an answer out of him. I want to be open to the idea that Dennis Rodman is either suffering from significant mental illness, which I know a lot of people, whenever I say that, they email me and they say, well, yeah, obviously, or that this is a result of some kind of medication he's on because of some kind of condition, because he's he's not reacting like what we would consider kind of like a well adjusted and normal person. And again, I know I'll get emails saying, David, obviously, d d have you followed his career? Of course, he's not a well adjusted individual. But I do still have to wonder. He makes the argument. Dennis Rodman does that. He goes to North Korea for the basketball. It's not about getting involved in the the political stuff. But I wonder if the same would apply in other cases. For example, would he have gone to South Africa during the really bad apartheid days to just play basketball, right, with with the with the uh, establishment and say, "Hey, I know about the whole apartheid thing, but I don't get involved in the politics. I'm just here for basketball." I I hope not. I don't think that he would have done that. Um, so I, I'm I'm just not fully understanding what's going on. I wouldn't be surprised if Dennis Rodman is going to have an even you know, more involved relationship with North Korea going forward. He seems to just love it and they seem to love him. Yeah. Watch him just, uh, I don't know, become some type of prince and live there. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe they'll make a title for him like uh, head of basketball or something. But, you know, th there is something else here. Maybe he doesn't want to bring that up to Kim Jong Un because he's afraid that he'll get imprisoned there himself. Well, if you're that afraid, then maybe it's not really your buddy and maybe you should be staying in the United States or at least not traveling to North Korea. If you were the State Department, how would you be handling this Rodman thing right now? 
Would you would you ignore the fact that he's going there, or would you try to meet with him and, and kind of get get idea get get some kind of intelligence debriefing from him? If it were anyone but Dennis Rodman, I'd try to meet with him. <laughs> Considering that it, it's Dennis Rodman, I think I'm just going to just going to leave it alone. I actually am a very big fan of Dennis Rodman as a basketball player. I was a big Chicago Bulls fan in the '90s. And uh, Dennis Rodman was absolutely awesome back then. And when he when he goes on the Howard Stern show, he gives hilarious interviews. I just can't understand what he's talking about, no matter how many times I watch the clip. Yeah, it's it's quite bizarre. And uh, I think it's kind of pointless to, to ask him these questions. Um, he, he's not going to confront Kim Jong Un. It's it's just leave it alone, I guess. Make sure to go to David dot com slash half 14 half one four. You get half price on your first month of membership or 33% off your first year of membership. That's going on for a few more days. We'll take a break. I still want to talk about Glenn Beck's incredible statement, a very strong pro equality statement. I know it's confusing. We'll talk about that. We've got your voicemails and much more.